So Elon Musk, if you read him on Twitter, sometimes seems a little flaky, but watch what he's doing. You know he's serious because he has put two of the best reporters in the United States, Matt Taibbi and Michael Schellenberger, on the Twitter files. In other words, to find out what exactly has been going on at that company for the past several years, and more specifically, to what degree has it been penetrated by governments, our government and foreign governments, in order to spy on people and shape the political conversation. So Michael Schellenberger has brand new reporting on this. And according to his findings, Twitter's general counsel, that would be the former FBI lawyer Jim Baker, repeatedly argued that the Hunter Biden laptop story should be censored. Twitter also received many secret communications from the FBI just hours before that story was published by the New York Post. And then in September of 2020, Twitter executive Yoel Roth attended a tabletop exercise at the Aspen Institute on a pot potential hack and dump operation involving Hunter Biden. Really? So how did they know it was coming? It was almost like the government was spying on people and stealing thumb drives at a UPS sorting center. What's going on here exactly? Michael Schellenberger broke this story, and we are always grateful to have him. He joins us now. Michael, thanks so much for coming on. So there's, there's so many parts of this, and I hope that our, our audience will read what you've written about it. Um, but how would you summarize what you found? Sure. Well, it's good to be with you, Tucker. Well, we spent a couple of weeks looking at a lot of the internal emails and Slack direct messages among employees at Twitter. And the picture you get is one of existing FBI agents outside of Twitter and former FBI officials joining Twitter. You mentioned the former general counsel of the FBI becoming the, uh, the deputy general counsel of Twitter. Also, the deputy chief of staff of the FBI went to Twitter. In fact, there were so many FBI officials at Twitter that they had their own internal messaging system. They actually had their own cue card to kind of train people going from FBI to Twitter. And so there was this relentless pressure by external FBI agents on Twitter to basically adapt its uh, content moderation, also to share information. Then you had these forces inside Twitter, former FBI officials, particularly Jim Baker, who very strenuously argued for the censorship of the New York Post reporting on the Hunter Biden laptop and the emails which showed these very questionable business dealings with China and other countries. So Tucker, more investigative work needs to be done, but this looks like a kind of psychological operation that you would see the CIA conducting in foreign countries, not something that you would see intelligence agents in the United States perpetrating against both news organizations, but also social media platforms, namely Twitter and Facebook. It's a disturbing pattern that I think our reporting today showed. So I mean, when I read what you wrote, I mean, it, se it seemed exactly what you just said, like a classic Intel op but aimed at the American population. I mean, that's illegal, isn't it? Or am I naive? <laughs> Absolutely. And there's some key facts that everybody, every American should know about. This is not a partisan issue. You do not want your most important police organization, the FBI, politicized and engaging in dirty campaign right. tricks. People need to know that the FBI had this laptop belonging to Hunter Biden in December of 2019. You then had the FBI for all of 2020 running an operation to convince news organizations and social media platforms that, that there would be some sort of a leak of Hunter Biden information right before the elections of 2020. You also had Giuliani, who was under FBI surveillance, give the, this, these laptops, the laptop to the New York Post. And then you see a very interesting exchange of information between the FBI and Twitter around that period and back and forth. So there's a lot of smoke. I think the bottom line is we need a serious congressional investigation and we very That's well right. may need an independent prosecutor to weed out these uh, politicized elements of the FBI. That's exactly right. In October of 2020, a, a thumb drive of ours was stolen out of a UPS sorting center. It's bothered us ever since for the last years. How could someone, how could that happen? Um, but you're starting to explain how it might have happened and I appreciate it. Thank you. Please keep going. Michael Schellenberger, great to see you. Good to see you, Tucker.